Welcome to Blue Marble Learning Scene, Nature Podcast. Today we're going to investigate nature around us through backyard birds. I'm Cindy. And I'm Tara. And today we're talking about backyard birds because about three years ago I got super into birding when I went to the Point Pelee Festival of the Birds. I'm still a novice, still teaching myself, but I am birding every single year now and I really enjoy watching the birds come to the feeder. And I am not considered a birder in my opinion, but I have always had bird feeders in my yard and I just really enjoy watching them. The birds entertain me and make me laugh. So one of the things that I really like about birding is trying to find that new and different bird, the one I've never seen before. So my favorite backyard bird is the one that I've only seen come to my feeder once and that is the common red pole. So you may be wondering what a common red pole is. A common red pole is actually in the finch family and it looks like it has a little red splotch on its forehead. My favorite is actually identified by its color too. It is the blue jay. The blue jay is one of the biggest ones you'll see at bird feeders in this area. So some of the common birds that you'll see in this area are chickadees, which you can actually probably get to come into your hand if you go to some of the conservation areas. We have cardinals, we have American goldfinches, and we have juncos, dark-eyed juncos. We also have nuthatches and woodpeckers who come out bird feeders in a slightly different way. They tend to be found upside down at your bird feeder. We also have sparrows. But if you take a close look at what you might be identifying as a sparrow, sparrow is actually a family of birds. So there are a bunch of different sparrow species. And so if you take a close look, you may actually be getting more species of birds at your bird feeder than you think because all those sparrows look so similar, but they are different. One of the ways that I do try to figure out what the birds are is that I will try to Google it, which is a little bit hard when you don't actually know what the name is. So the different identifiers that you can use to try and figure out what your bird is, is you can look at their color, you can look at their general size and their shape and their behavior. But if you're looking at smaller birds that tend to be a little bit similar, I also recommend taking a close look at their head. So if you look at their beak, Is it long and thin? Is it short and fat? And then look around their eyes. Do they have an eyebrow? Something that just looks like a little eyebrow above their eye. Do they have a line going through their eye? Or do they have something that are considered glasses? All these little small details will help you identify what the bird looks like and is easily Googleable. Googleable? Googleable. That's a weird verb. The other thing you can do is buy yourself a bird ID book or download an app that can help you ID the bird And the app I recommend that I'm absolutely in love with, which is actually free, is called Merlin. So that's M-E-R-L-I-N, and it is a wonderful bird identification app. Another way is to figure out what birds will eat as well. Because I know from looking at my bird feeders, I have two that have different seed in each. There are certain birds that only go to one and not the other one. Yeah, that's a great point. Different birds like different types of seeds, and some birds don't even like bird seeds. Some birds prefer berries or even insects. So you can go to your local bird shop and ask them, you know, what seed is right to get a specific bird you're interested in to your yard, but also consider planting trees and bushes that have berries on them. One of the birds that I discovered when I first started birding is called the cedar waxwing. And that bird actually really loves berries, but you will not get it to a seed feeder. So if you want to see some cedar waxwings, you need some trees with berries on them. I also learned when I was looking at different kinds of bird seed, when I started paying more attention to what they were eating, was that there's a little seed in the general store type bird seed that's called millet that the birds don't actually eat. That's what they throw out if you ever watch birds sort of tossing some food away. It's because they don't like the millet. So if you want to not waste your money, buy something without millet in it. 
But also you're just gonna get those picky birds that only like one specific type of seed. So I can tell you from experience, and you may notice when you go feed the chickadees in your hands, chickadees like sunflower seeds, and that's really the only thing they eat. And then those nut hatches and woodpeckers that Cindy was talking about, they like peanuts. But they'll also eat suet. So suet is another thing that you can hang up, which is basically fat that the birds like to eat and helps them get through winter. I also know that I don't tend to put my bird feeders out all year long because I do want them to be able to find their own natural food and the feed and the nuts and the seeds are just a backup in the winter time when it's harder for our birds that do overwinter here in the Kingston area. That and it's going to save you a ton of money and clean up because birds are messy if you just feed them in the fall, in the winter, and then just a little bit into the spring until they start getting their own berries and their own buds and the things that they can find themselves. So that was about backyard birds, but if you're like me, until just recently, I lived in an apartment with no backyard and no balcony. So if you don't have a backyard, you're not out of luck. You can still enjoy backyard birds. One of the ways you can do that is by using a window feeder. And these are attached to the outside of windows that you can put on your balcony doors as long as you can access those windows easily. Uh, and they stick with suction cups right onto your windows. Now, the one thing I worry about and one reason I haven't bought a bird feeder for my window is I worry about the birds hitting my windows. So what you can do to try and discourage that happening is actually put up little reflective stickers um, or even just hang an old CD in the window because that will create a shine that will discourage the birds and let them know there's actually a window there. But the, you don't just have to rely on that. You can use a friend's backyard or go to a natural area near you and go actually bird hunting. Well, okay, not hunting, bird watching. Get your binoculars or no binoculars. Binoculars just make it a little bit easier to identify the birds, but go out, especially in the springtime, and you are going to see a ton of different types of birds, even more than what your backyard friends will see. We just wanted to thank you for joining us in our Backyard Bird Podcast. We hope that you'll join us in future podcasts, Learning with Nature.